Uh, I know it's going to be entered into some film festivals, con film festivals and uh, stuff like Sundance uh, for independent filmmaking. Um, but that's really all I can say about Bastion at the moment. That's all I know. Um, but filming it was great, and uh, the storyline is great and uh, original. Mm-hmm. And uh, the production, again, was great. I, I don't think I've been on any bad production, thankfully. <laughs> and keep it that way. Yeah, unless you want yes. to win a Razzie. <laughs> Even then. Any, it's, any, it's great to be known no matter for what for. Uh huh. And, and, and make sure it's a good thing, too, because it sounds like you've got something great going on. And I was going to ask you um, a couple more things before we wrap up here, since we've got a few minutes. You're a very busy guy, Scott. What do you consider your favorite projects among the work you've done? What is the most challenging and your most memorable moment? It can be heartbreaking, it can be funny, or it can be a blooper. You talk about in filming? Uh, yeah, the, you know, the production you've been in with the films you've been in. I'll go back to The Irishman. Um, it's a, uh, again, it's a gangster film. So, uh, and I'm a big gangster film fan, a big horror movie fan. So, being in a gangster film was very close to my heart. So it was um, it was very endearing. And again, being in a scene with with my heroes was very heart- heartwarming. And um, again, it's it's a uh, it's a dream come true. It's a, it's a dream come true. Uh, I couldn't ask for anything better. Like I said, if I died tomorrow, and be, even before it came out, I can go up to heaven knowing that I did what I wanted to do with everybody I wanted to do it with in one shot. And would you also consider the Irishman as part of your uh, most challenging? No, it wasn't my most challenging because uh, I'm Italian and most of the teamsters back then were Italian and Irish. And uh, all I had to do was just stand around and look tough, which I'd normally do anyway. (laughs) It it, it sounds like you're doing really well. And and, uh, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Would be Jimmy Cagney, David Hess, and uh, Jimmy Gandolfini. They were my three... My... uh, my three angels, if you will, because all three of them have passed away. So they're my three angels. Mm-hmm. That, and, that, that sounds amazing, too. And what, and what advice would you give to anybody getting involved in uh, acting or filmmaking or show business? I'd pass along what was told to me. Follow your dream. Don't give up. Uh, there's, you know, it's, it's a dog-eat-dog world when it comes to entertainment. But if you got the bug and you got the passion and you really want to do it, you got to keep going for it. You know, you, I'm I'm not asking to be George Clooney. I'm just asking to work and keep working. But you got to, it's a lot of chutzpah. It's a lot of hustle. You really got to go after it. You know, nobody just sees you. Uh, it's not, not like it was. Or they see you walking down the street. I'll grab you. You really got to be in there. You mm-hmm. know, you got to like the lottery. You got to be in it to win it. So you really got to be running around, getting your face out there, getting your, your name known. Um, I like to do a lot of background work, and it's kind of a backdoor way into it. They get to see who you are. Uh, you know, I was on The Irishman. I got to know a lot of people production-wise. Uh, Evil Lives Here, I got to know a lot of people production-wise. Uh, so they, you know, they go, oh, hey, you know, Scott Manginelli, Scott Manginelli. Oh, yeah, he's an Italian from New Jersey. Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> and uh, so your name gets out there. And I would just, again, going back to follow your dream. Uh, don't don't give up. Don't give up would be the best words because uh, you don't know if you're destined for greatness, and you won't know unless you, you know, don't give up. Uh, unless you know you try. That's right. So, <laughs> all right, Scott. Well, I just wanted to say it's been great talking to you. And before we let you go, we know you're a busy guy. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. Where can we see all your work? And what's your website? And how can people reach you? Sure. Um, again, The Irishman, that's going to be in the movies for two weeks coming this October 2019. Uh, Bastion, like I said, is in post-production. Uh, but uh, and anybody could check on the I, my IMDb page, Scott Manginelli. Uh, last name is M-A-N-G-I-N-E-L-L-I. Um, I also am on Instagram uh, as vmackie 12 mm-hmm. Um V Mackey stands for Vic Mackey from my favorite TV show, The Shield. Okay. Um, so my Instagram is V Mackey 12. Um, 
and uh, I have a an, I have a personal Facebook page and a professional page, a Facebook page. Uh, most of the stuff from my films you can see on my professional page. You just put Scott Manganelli, actor backslash perform uh, entertainer. That's a very good idea. We'll do so. And uh, Scott, just want to say it's been a great pleasure chatting with you. Thank you very much. You've been great. And uh, keep us up to date on uh, all your projects. And uh, look forward to having you on again soon. And looking forward to your movie, The Irishman. And um, luck of the Irish that you win an Oscar. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And it was a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure to be on your show. Thank you for inviting me. And thank you for letting me come on and, and uh, tell my, my story. Thank you. You've been listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios at themikewagnershow.com. Visit sonicwebstudios.com today for all your web design needs. If you would like to be a sponsor of The Mike Wagner Show, call or text at 701-301-7705 or email to mike at themikewagnershow.com. If you're a listener and would like to support our program, visit themikewagnershow.com and click on the support button and donate today. Thanks for listening and tune in again next time on The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com.